Tito, found dead, devastated the country, who's gotten to know her through her van life videos. The coroner conducted an autopsy with a forensic pathologist brought in from 300 miles away and released to the public with the FBI yesterday that not only was this Gabby Petito, and there she is with her boyfriend, uh, the person of interest right now, Brian Laundrie, but Gabby Petito was murdered. It was a homicide, death at the hands of another, but they found, and or they did not release the public, no cause of death. Can you tell us in lay people's terms what this all means? Uh, what it means is that uh, the uh, coroner uh, and the police and FBI, they know that the, the cause of death is a uh, homicide, is a murder. They don't want to release what any more information than they have to. Uh, they've ruled out accident, suicide, or some kind of natural death. Uh, and they don't want to give away too much information while they're still looking for the perpetrator. Uh, the, uh, the further studies will be done on the toxicology and uh, looking at things under the microscope and also examining the evidence that was present on the body at the scene of death and taken during the autopsy, which would include things like uh, uh, insects. The insects are going to be a, a good uh, guide to how long she was dead before the body was found. She's missing for about 25 days as far as uh, been released thus far, and the to determine if she died uh, a few days before she was found or around the time that she went missing will be very important for the prosecutor, for the police, and looking for uh, the suspect. Now, you said that uh, the coroner released the finding of homicide. Uh, it, 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 that is not a legal finding. That is a forensic finding. It doesn't necessarily mean murder. It could be manslaughter or any of the other crimes. But what's the difference between that as the manner of death and the cause of death, which has not been released? The, the cause of death is what, what caused the death. And the uh, manner of death is a classification. A classification is five things. Uh, natural, accident, suicide, homicide or undetermined. By saying that this is a homicide, that is uh, death at the hands of another, and it will be up to the district attorney to decide first degree, second degree murder, whatever they, they proceed on, uh, uh, then uh, uh, clarifies what the investigation is all about. It, the most likely cause of death in this kind of a situation is manual strangulation. Uh, the ma a male stronger than a female pressing on the neck until uh, death occurs. Uh, uh, other possibilities would be uh, 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 blunt force trauma to the head with a rock or an object that causes fractures and, and hemorrhage in the brain, or uh, shootings or stabbing would be the, the way that uh, homicides uh, are usually uh, occur. Uh, most likely, I think, is uh, the manual strangulation in this kind of a situation. So the fact that they did not release the cause of death, Michael, uh, but they released the manner of death indicates that there was something clear on the body to the investigators that they saw that said, this is clearly not natural. We're going to do toxicology to see what drugs are there. But we know that it wasn't an accidental overdose or anything of that sort, correct? Right. That clears that out. But also, the police know what the cause of death is. They know if it's a strangulation because they would find that out at the autopsy by be hemorrhage being uh, in the skin under the neck, even if uh, the, uh, the, the body has been there for 25 days. There'll be decomposition on the body, and there'd be a lot of animal activities that are in the area, uh, but uh, the, uh, the, the cause of death would, have to, it would, would be what the police are looking at and proceeding with, uh, and uh, they don't have to release what the cause of death is yet, and they wouldn't release it perhaps until they catch the person they're looking for.